Thank you Father Lord for the gift of life, and for bringing me into this new day. While my body lay like a dead during the night. I do not know the things that transpired, but you kept the guard of my soul. Thank you for your deliverance from the terrors of the night. The snares of the fowler, the arrows that fly as day breaks. The pestilence that walks in darkness. The destructions and plagues of the night. And every other evil device of the darkness which I cannot know, and also the dangers that I didn't even know about. Like the psalmist will say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters, had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird, out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And because of your constant help and protection, I can boldly declare like the psalmist. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Forgive me, dear Lord, if I don't thank you enough. For you know I cannot thank you enough. Even if all my body turns to mouths, it will not be enough to thank you enough. I know you have done so much for me. In fact, far much more than I am even aware of, or that I can even comprehend. Is it the body you have prepared for me? Is it health and vitality? Is it your continued provision and providence? What about your sacrifice for the salvation of my soul? Which will I thank you for and which will I leave out? Which will I start with and which will come later? In all, dear Father Lord, I summarily say thank you, Lord. Thank you, particularly for the salvation of my soul. And for the gift of this new day, a brand new day. A day I have never known nor seen before. Neither had any, till you have brought it. Many had sought and desired to see this day, but could not. But graciously you have made it possible for me to see it. I am most grateful. It is something worthy of thanks. Please dear Lord, help me to walk in truth and in obedience to your word. As a kind of appreciation for your graces upon my life. Help me Lord to always, walk to please you in all things, and at all times all through today. As a mark of honor, love, and appreciation of your grace, love, and good works in my life. Today indeed is a good day, the day you have made. The day of the Lord, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Anything that shall try to abort, or shortchange or corrupt or stall my joy and happiness today, Lord, stop them and, forestall it. For your word makes me understand, that you take pleasure in my joy and happiness. Dear Lord, cause me to dwell in your presence all through this day. For in your presence is the fullness of joy, rejoicing, and liberty. Lord forestall anything that may come, to deprive me of your joy, or draft me away from your presence. For you desire that we rejoice and be glad in you always. Your word says, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, Rejoice. Father cause this day to bear me fruits of joy, gladness, hope, and comfort. Fill me with the spirit of joy and rejoicing. Let my presence exude joy, rejoicing, and happiness. And truly reflect the spirit of Christ in me and joy in the Holy Ghost. Cause me to spread joy and rejoice wherever I go today. Make me a reason for people to rejoice and give glory to your name today dear Lord. Guide me to please you in all my actions and inactions. Cause the expectations of the devil, the enemy, and his cohorts to perish with them. For your word says, that surely they shall gather but not by you. And because, their gathering is not of you, they shall fail. Dear Lord, frustrate their plan and scheming against me. Turn their counsels into foolishness. Cause every gang up, conspiracy, collusion, 
evil manipulations, and programmings against me today to amount to a nullity. Let all their plans, and counsel against me turn back to them. Lord, let their fears and evil intents come upon them. Let all the stumbling blocks, they have stationed for my fall, turn stepping stones for my rising. Cause my feet to walk into wealth and treasures, and my hand to touch good things of life, my eyes to see virtues and good things of life, my heart, to think purity and virtue. Cause your truth and love for you to be my watchword today. Cause my mind to be preoccupied, with the thought of how to advance your kingdom. Forgive my previous insensitivities, to the kingdom advancement endeavor. Endow me with fresh zeal, and passion for kingdom services. Keep my heart to be focused on you. That my actions today, and every day henceforth, be geared towards the accomplishment of your demands, and vision for me. Give me the courage and tenacity, to stand for the truth today and always. For your word is the truth, O Lord. Give me unwavering faith, so as to never be discouraged. And to be able to receive all my requests, and expectations from you. Strengthen my commitment to stand, and defend your word at all times today and beyond. Deliver me from every evil and danger of today. Even though I cannot know, or see them ahead. But I know that the enemy is always out, to oppose obedience to your word. But dear Lord, I am not bordered about them. For I have faith and hope, on your infallible assurances of deliverance. Therefore dear Lord, according to your word of assurances of my security. Go before me Father Lord, to level the mountains, clear every hindrance and stumbling block on my ways. Break into pieces, all the iron doors and gates of brass, meant to frustrate me or to hinder my progress. Open before me, the doors to treasures and riches of hidden places. That as I go out today, I will keep possessing my possessions in you. Grant me the wisdom, for proper and prudent management of my resources, as you entrust them to me. Help me to properly utilize the wealth and riches, that you have entrusted to me, and that you will be entrusting on me. Cause your presence to go with me, to guard and guide me, for I believe, with your presence, I won't get stuck up or frustrated or go wrong. For your word says, trust in the Lord, learn not in your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your part. Dear Lord, I entrust my today into your hand. I acknowledge you as my savior, my redeemer, my defender, my strong place, my secret place, my impregnable rock, my strong tower where when I run unto it, I am secure. Help me Lord, to make the best of this new day. Let this new day, afford me the ample opportunity, to correct the errors of the past. Let the Holy Spirit, my counselor, my comforter, erase the bad memories of the past experiences, that have been hurting and hunting me and replace them, with the perfect wills and wishes of the Father for me. So that my life today and continues, shall continue to be the reflection of the mind of Christ. Dear Lord, don't forget to give us resources, to keep the precious life you have given us afloat. I, therefore, pray after the manner you have taught us. Give us dear Lord this day, our daily bread. Thank you, dear Lord, for answering me that my joy shall be full as the scripture says. The confidence we have is that you hear us when we pray. Lord, I believe you have heard me. For I pray in the perfect name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in our prayer. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Winning Secret TV, to not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We love you.